Restriction Enzymes In the year 1963, the two enzymes responsible for restricting the growth of bacteriophage in E. coli were isolated. One of these added methyl groups to DNA while the other cut DNA. The later was called restriction endonuclease. Restriction enzymes belong to a larger class of enzymes called nucleases. These are of two kinds, exonucleases and endonucleases. Exonucleases remove nucleotides from the ends of the DNA, whereas endonucleases may cut at specific positions within the DNA. Restriction endonuclease always cut DNA molecules at a particular point by recognizing a specific sequence of six base pairs. This specific base sequence is known as recognition sequence. More than 900 restriction enzymes have been isolated from 230 strains of bacteria, each of which recognize different recognition sequences. Example, restriction enzymes E. co. Ri. E. represents the genus name Escherichia. CO. Co. represents species name Escherichia coli. These three letters are written in italics. R. Name of the strain. Roman numbers following the names indicate the order in which the enzymes were isolated from that strain of bacteria. Each restriction endonuclease functions by inspecting the length of DNA sequence and recognizes a specific palindromic nucleotide sequences in DNA. Palindrome means a group of letters that form same words when read both backward and forward. Example 5 dash to 3 dash direction 3 dash to 5 dash direction 5 dash G A A T T C 3 dash 3 dash C T T A G 5 dash Restriction enzyme cleaves DNA molecules in two ways. One, in one way, they cut both strands of DNA at exactly opposite points to each other. This results in DNA fragments with blunt ends or flush ends, where two strands end at the same point. Such cut is generally termed as even cut. 2. But, commonly, most enzymes cut the two strands of DNA double helix at different locations. Such a cleavage is generally termed as tagged cut. This generates protruding ends, that is, one strand of DNA double helix extends some bases beyond the other. Since the target site is palindromic in nature. The protruding ends generated by such a cleavage have complementary base sequence. As a result, they readily pair with each other and such ends are called cohesive ends or sticky ends. The stickiness of ends facilitates the action of enzyme DNA ligase. When cut, by the same restriction enzyme, the resultant DNA fragments have the same kind of sticky ends and these can be joined together by using DNA ligases. This property of restriction enzymes 
is of great value for the construction of recombinant DNA. Restriction endonucleases are used in genetic engineering to form recombinant molecules of DNA which are composed of DNA from different sources. When cut by the same restriction enzymes, the resultant DNA fragments have same kind of sticky ends and these can be joined together using DNA ligases. The recombinant vector molecule cannot be created unless the vector and source DNA is cut with the same restriction enzyme. Separation and isolation of DNA fragments. The DNA fragments can be separated by gel electrophoresis. Since DNA fragments are negatively charged molecules, they can be separated by forcing them to move towards anode under electric field through matrix or medium. The matrix is agarose. The DNA fragments separate according to their size through sieving effect produced by agarose gel. The DNA is bright orange colored bands in an ethidium bromide stained gel exposed to UV light. The separated bands of DNA are cut out from agarose gel and extracted from gel peas. This step is known as elution.